Hey guys, welcome back. Uh, before we go anywhere, I want to show you guys what I've done with the house so far. Well, actually, I probably should have just left it there. Um, I put glowstone in the floor. Uh, that I calculated all the lighting. It should be perfectly fine. No mobs should spawn in here. Um, we've still got... I put some rings around where the floors are going to... Well, I put a ring around at this floor. And up there is another one. I haven't actually moved the water up yet, so this is all going to be gone. I was just using these blocks up here to count how high up I was. I moved the nether portal from over there to up here on a nice little platform uh, out away from the house. <laughs> so hopefully it won't be very noisy and everything. And yeah. And up there, I've got it pretty much planned out how I want to do the top of the house. I actually changed my mind about the... Um, the way it's going to look on the outside, so it'll look a little bit different than it did before, but not too different, and it's alright. And I am going to have to make a switch on it, so I can turn it off whenever I want to, because um, there's actually a bug where if you log out when gravel or sand is falling, then it just disappears. So the way the, the tower works basically, is that there's pistons that push up glowstone and then pull it back down and then gravel falls to block the light. So when you push it up, the gravel gets pushed out of the way and then when it, fall when it goes back down, the gravel falls. But when you log out, if it's running, any gravel that's falling will just disappear. So that can cause some problems. Um, because of that, I have to put in a, an off switch, which I'm probably going to put on top of the house. Um which is going to leave a big tower of torches inside, unfortunately. But there's nothing I can really do about that. So, you know, oh well. Um, before we get to doing that, though, I need to get uh, some slimes because I don't have enough slime balls. I need, like, two more in order to make it work. So let's uh, find some dark cave and get fighting. Besides that, I want to get some experience because I do not have a whole lot of levels right now and I would like to be able to enchant stuff so uh, is there more cave here or is that just the that may just be it uh, yeah that's it all right just four creepers chilling out in this little tiny space oh well we can use the um, the gunpowder for TNT later so it's not totally useless let's grab this water I didn't have any with me because I used it to uh, to make the water elevator thing that I've got in the house. So now we've got some more. Just clear this out of the way. Light it up. Let's go up first. This goes out to where? Where is this? Where are we? I don't know where we are. Let's just go back in. Oh, well, it looks like we've been over there. Unless I didn't just do that now, did I? I don't think I did. Okay, and I would like to have a block on my bar. I don't have enough space. Um, sounds like there's a zombie above me. But, oh well. Grab some mushrooms. Alright, I guess that's a dead end. I'm hoping to find slimes, but it's probably not going to happen. At the very least, we've got some caving, which should be exciting. Uh, hopefully we'll run into, like, hundreds of thousands of mobs and die a couple times, because that's, that's the most exciting bit about, about exploring, isn't it? So. Oh. Found. Yep, it's just that cave. Let's dig down here, so I don't have to worry about getting back up. Oh, I came through here before, apparently. I don't know which parts I explored or didn't explore on camera, uh, because I did come through, like I said last episode, there was a small portion that I came through, and looks like I, I may have come down here. Let's go down this way. Um, there's a small portion that I came through just looking for, uh, oh, there's some lava. I was looking for, um, monsters just so I could get some levels. But, okay, there's nothing here. But, uh, it didn't take too long 
I just kind of ran around in the dark for a while. I didn't really light a lot of the stuff up that I went through because it would have wasted a lot of torches and everything. Um, but I did light up some of it. I think I came down here. Actually, I might have come through this area on camera. I don't remember. Uh, let's see. How about down here? Down here looks... No, that was... Oh, a slime. Where is he? Not this way. Yeah, let me up. No, he's down. He's down somewhere. <laughs> um, let's try getting across there. Let's see what's up in this cave up here. Because maybe it'll go down to that slime. And it looks like it just goes up. I don't have much coal. I need to grab the next coal that I see. I should have brought more with me. That was stupid of me. Um, water's being fun, fun water again. Like always. I want to find that slime, but I don't know. There we go. Got it. Just cover that up. I hate water when it gets like that. Oh, it does go down. Oh, coal. Let's just grab some of this real quick. Alrighty. There are some mobs down there, so that's fun. Sorry to make you guys watch this. I mean, I have plenty of coal back up. Well, actually, I did use, like, a significant portion of my coal uh, trying to make all that stone. But, you know, what are you going to do? I had to. Got to make my house out of nice materials. Okay, come on, cave. Don't just do this. There we go. Oh, well, it ends here. Great. going farther and farther away from the mobs. Alright. How much cold do we have on us? Eleven? That's alright. That should last us quite a while. Let's see if we can't find that slime. Because I would really like to meet that guy. Some iron. Iron's still pretty useful to me. I don't have enough diamond yet to, uh... To... Oh, I can't think of the word. <laughs> to make it reasonable to ignore. You know, I mean, there's sometimes you just get to a point where you have enough, and you can just ignore it. But I'm not there yet. And, you know, probably never will actually just ignore it. I think I came down here when I was exploring. Um, off camera. Oh, oh found the slime. Nifty. I must have come down here. Hi, skeleton. Don't shoot me real quick. Okay, thanks. Ow. I just didn't want to get hit while I had my back turned. There's a big area down there. He's trying to make his way to me? He is. Hello. Thank you. Alrighty. So that's all we need. Um, but we might as well continue exploring. I mean, why not? like lava. <laughs> Let's build right over it. Pretend it's not there. Oh, frame rate issue. A lot of zombies. Man. Oh. Bit of a drop. There's some redstone. We need some of that too. Because we have, well, we have probably enough, but I may use a lot of it making all that. Oh, was there more? There was more. I may use a lot of it making the pistons and repeaters and all that stuff that I need for the project. So, um... I mean, it's not a particularly big project. Uh, it's going to require quite a few torches to go up, but aside from that, um... It should be pretty... pretty not intensive resource project. I don't even know. Um... Shouldn't take too much redstone to make, hopefully. Theoretically. It's just regular stone over there. No, oh, diamond. I was going to say no diamonds. And well, there you go. Don't die, don't die, don't die, don't die. No skeletons, please. Make our way over to that diamond. 
Hello, precious diamond. How are you today? Good? You look pretty. Okay. Let's, uh, hold shift. Don't worry, guys, I'm being careful. Oh, there is a zombie, like, right above my head. And not much here. There's some iron. That's good. Again, we still need a lot of that. Four diamond is pretty big. Um, that'll pay for this pick. Uh, which I believe I already found diamond with this pick, actually, so... Usually the way I, I value a pick's success is whether or not I was able to find th at least three diamond while I was using it. Because if I do find three diamond, that means it pretty much paid for itself, which, at the very least, I'm not losing out on diamonds. Um, whereas, you know, if I only found one diamond, or even worse, no diamonds, then, obviously, I put in three diamonds to get the pick, and it didn't get me anything. Which, I mean, you know, I could always just then make iron tools, but, um, there's something up here. There's something. Something up somewhere. Um, I could always just make iron tools and then use those to find more diamonds, but, um, I don't know. Regardless, I feel like a, a diamond pick goes to waste if you don't find enough diamonds to make another one. Because that's the only way that you're going to continue your supply of diamond if you use diamond picks a lot, which I usually do. So, that's that's nice. Oh, and we're over. Uh, let's see, yeah, I'll cut the video here, and we'll, oh, kill this. That's more diamond down there, you see it? Yeah, let's, well, let's grab that. Can't just leave that there. Ow. That kind of hurt. Alright. Let's come over here. Grab that. Only three? Looks like there's only three. Oh well, that's good. That's a pretty decent haul. Some gold, some iron, more redstone. All good. We need a lot of it. Whatever it is. Uh, they're buffing... He's, he's putting gold apples back to their old recipe. Um, but he's adding a bunch of neat stuff to it. Like, it gives damage resistance and fire resistance, as well as a long regeneration buff. Um, I do want to get this redstone, actually. So, they're actually, like, really good. But I don't really know what you would want to use that for. I mean, I guess maybe fighting the Ender Dragon. But, it it just seems like it wouldn't be that useful to me. Maybe going for the Nether. Maybe both. Even Did I just see more gold? Or more diamond over there? I saw something, but it might have just been me going crazy. Or even just this lava over here. Yeah, I think that was it. What's that? Oh, there's a... Well, there's an experience orb. I guess I came over here at one point. Let's grab this iron and then hop up this uh, tunnel right here. Oh, right, I need to end the episode. And was that me? Oh, that was me. That's where I came over and there was a lava coming down. Sweet. So that's... That's nifty. Um, let's hop over here. And I'll end the episode here. Thank you guys for watching, and I will see you next time, where hopefully we'll be going back up and making that, finishing up that tower, so that should be really cool. Um, I'm looking forward to that. Hopefully, eventually, I want to hook it up to a day-night sensor so that it turns on at night and turns off during the day. Um, and then, like, an override so that I can just turn it off when I need to log off. Um, and maybe sometime find a better way to make it pulse without having to uh, have the gravel crap, you know? Oh, well. Anyway, thanks for watching. See you next time. Bye.